setting up the nano drop. This is actually what happens when you're done with your experiment. You end the experiment, you clean the experiment, the pedestal and the arm, and then you um, touch continue. And I like to leave the nano drop closed up like this, not open, or it might get scratched. And uh, once you've turned on the unit, uh, you you will probably see a field like this where you can choose between nucleic acids, proteins, optical density 600, custom. Now I choose custom. And then here, next choose UV vis. And then you type in the wavelength, 550. It's uh, 550 from when I, when I set this up earlier. So just type in 550. If you need to edit the value, just touch here. 550, backspace, backspace, backspace. 50 done and that's 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 then go, going to be the wavelength that, which you're recording you say done and notice I left uh, baseline correction off and I left path length just the default values and it asks me now to clean the pedestal and the and the arm and then we load it with the blank solution, which is, for count cells, it's, it's the 0.85% sodium chloride. So I'm seeing, let's see if I can make sure we can see, get the pedestal in view here. I'm loading two microliters. I'm using kind of the method that we use for the spot grid plate. Just by touch. And now uh, I always like to check, see if the baseline is working appropriately by measuring the blank. So we blanked on the on the reference solution, and now I'm I'm going to treat the reference solution as as a sample, and this gives me a chance to catch any problems before we start collecting a whole bunch of data. And that looks pretty reasonable. We get a value of minus 0 0.04. So maybe maybe the whole thing was a little dirty from b before, but 0 0.04 offset is not going to be a big problem. And you notice that the table is is indicating um, the values at 550 because we use that custom custom setup. Since I have a little bit of time, I'm going to. Uh, Re redo the blank. So I clean everything. Load. Load the. Load the pedestal. Make a second measurement. And now the reading is uh, point zero one. So maybe. Um, Maybe that first blank was perfect, and and that it was the 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 sample, the, the blank sample that was might have had a, like a little bit of extra air on it. Anyway, we're going to keep the blank, the reference that we had. But if I if you are at all suspicious about the blank, there is the blank uh, button here, and by pressing that, uh, it'll walk you through the steps to re. Uh, reset the what the blank reading is and now the nano drop is ready for the next sample i like to leave the arm down clean it right before loading with the next sample and uh, and then obtain the the measurement at 550 directly from the table